And so with that being said, that leads me to my last and final question of today. Are we going to crown our trash this brand new Low Pro FX Clipper from Babyliss Pro? And today, guys, we are going to... Live Stallions, what's up? Kino Barbie here, back with another one. Today's video is gonna be an unboxing and review of the Babyliss Pro Low Pro FX, and this one is gonna be the red version. So the Babyliss Pro Low Pro FX one is gonna come in their signature aluminum packaging. On the front cover, you see the actual clipper, which is more like a matte red color. On the very top, you see the Low Pro FX, and then on the very bottom here, you see the FX1 and it says one battery system. And then underneath that, it says Babyliss Pro. So as far as the packaging of this clipper, it's gonna be very similar to the gray version of this clipper. Let's read off some of the back and see how different is this clipper compared to the gray version. So starting off in the back of the box, you see the Low Pro FX and it says low profile integrated battery clipper. And then on the left side of the box, you see the actual picture of the clipper and it's gonna be in red. And then the lever is gonna be black. And then to the right side of that it says new black titanium metal injection molded fade blade built-in oil reservoir for consistent lubrication low blade temperature zero gap adjustable new n1 brushless motor dual ball bearing for more efficiency 6800 rpms 13600 spm long life new five position lock stretch taper lever new interchangeable luthien battery up to two and a half hours of runtime, quick battery release button, four stage LED ring battery indicator, ultra low profile metal shield cover, ergonomic grip, includes six comb attachments, includes dual voltage charging base and battery. And then on the right side of the box, you see the N1 brushless motor, and then it has the interchangeable battery, compact charging base, uh, metal shield cover, five position taper arm, and then you have that metal injection molded MIM blade. And then it has that two year warranty. And then on the left side of the box here, you're gonna see the FX1, one battery ultimate tool. And then you see a picture of uh, the trimmers and clippers. And then underneath that, you see the new FX1 system it is one battery system compatible with all FX1 tools. So as far as a description about this new clipper, it's gonna be pretty much the same as the gray version, except for the color of the housing and also the different color and blades. This is gonna have the black blade and then the gray version is gonna have the blue blade. But everything else seems to be pretty much the same. So let's get a closer look at this new clipper and everything that comes along with it. So 
Pricing for the brand new Low Pro FX1 Clipper is gonna cost you $209.99 on the Babylist website. Now, I ended up getting mine from my local barber supply store, Elegant Barber Zone, which I will leave that link in the description below. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these, just make sure you let them know King sent you. So let's talk about the pros and the cons on the brand new Low Pro FX Clipper. Starting off with the pros first. The ergonomics on this clipper, I love the ergonomics on this. It feels great in hand. I love the weight and how it's balanced on here as well. Has some weight to it, but it's not too heavy. Definitely feels a lot premium. Some of my best features on this is the grooves on the back of the clipper and also on the side of the clipper as well. And also the click lever is really smooth. Let's talk about the battery life on this clipper. It is two and a half hours, which is decent. I typically like battery lives to be at least three hours or more, but I will say that it makes up for the battery life and the charging time is like really fast. I'm not sure on how fast if you guys know, please drop a comment. So when it comes to fading and blending with the new clipper, um, very similar to the gray version and the blends on this clipper are really smooth I do like the texture it leaves when you are fading with this clipper You don't have to do too many passes when you are um, Fading so I do like that a lot and then also have this brushless motor as well Which is a really strong motor that leads me to the bulk removal on this clipper The bulk removal is really great as well I didn't struggle at all when I'm cutting down bulk with this and another pro for me will be the pricing on this clipper I do like the pricing on this It's $209.99. I think the overall value on this clipper as far as getting the clipper guards you're getting a charging base and battery so I think the packaging on this and everything that you're getting as far as the value of this new low pro FX clipper I would definitely say that's a pro for me now let's talk about the cons on the brand new low pro FX clipper now to be honest it doesn't have too many cons but I will say using this clipper over time it does warm up as far as the blade and to me that matters because when you are using one clipper especially the way I fade in my fade system I like to set my guidelines and then I blend down and then by the time I get to the bottom sometimes if the clipper is too hot then I can't use the clipper when I get to that point so to me it really matters as far as the blade on how hot it gets and if I had to kind of nitpick I would say that that would be a con for me and another con for me will be the clipper guards now you do get clipper guards and they work just fine but if I had to kind of nitpick again I wish they had the premium guards that Babyliss made. If they had those, it would be a whole lot better. So if I had to kind of pick a couple of things that are negative and that's a con for me, would be those two things. So as far as the comparison on both clippers, the gray version versus the red version, they're pretty much the same clippers. They both have the same features. The red version doesn't have any upgrades or anything differently than the gray version. Same blade, other than the fact that the red clipper has the black blade versus the gray clipper has the blue blade. And if I had to say which one I like better, I do like the red version as far as the look on it. It looks really nice. But for some reason, I just like using the gray version. As far as the two, I don't know. It could just be me, guys. I don't know, but I just like the gray version as far as the performance on this clipper, even though they are the same clipper again it's just a preference but if I had to choose between the two it's definitely going to be the gray one so with all that being said that leads me to my last question of the day are we going to crown or trash this brand new low pro fx clipper from Babyliss Pro and today guys we are going to crown this clipper with a rating score of an 8.5 so the reason why I'm crowning this clipper today, guys, I just think overall it is a great value for what you're getting with this clipper. This clipper, and I did mention that it is a stretch lever. You guys know that I'm a fan of stretch levers, and the reason why is because I'm able to skip guards. So that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you guys did, please, guys, get a video a thumbs up. Also, smash that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram page at Kimi Lifestyles. And also let me know if you guys are going to grab or pass on this clipper. Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts and comments. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.